Guys, well, I'm going to be planting some garlic today. Silver garlic. Or is it called silver? Silver skin garlic. Um, and I was told that um, if you plant bigger cloves like this one, see this is one, if you plant the bigger ones, then you get bigger bulbs. Um, but if you plant the smaller ones, like this one, then you're going to get smaller bulbs. Um, either way, you're going to get garlic. That's what I'm talking about. So anyways, I'm going to plant some of these <clears throat> in a spot in my planter. Um, I've never planted garlic before. Uh, but I definitely love garlic. So I have my strawberry patch over here, right? But um, I have this spot. It's about two feet of uh, just nothing but really good dirt soil. And so I'm going to just sprinkle them on top like that, and then that's it. You just leave No, I'm kidding. Um, you want to plant those down uh, about an inch uh, in warmer climates. Uh, and we're in a warmer climate, so I'm going to plant these an inch deep. And um, see what we get. Um, this is my drip line. So I'm hoping that will be enough water. Uh, if not, I mean, God forbid I can come out here and, with a bucket and, uh, you know, water it or or even uh, the hose <laughs> but uh, anyways um, any comments any questions uh, feel free to ask me although I wouldn't be able to tell you much at this point because I've never grown garlic before uh, my pastor has though Paul he's on here he'll probably say something about garlic won't you Paul anyway uh, God bless y'all and uh, have a great day also um, you want to plant them about four, four inches apart, four to eight inches apart. I'm doing four because I'm trying to just plant them in here. Um, and the package said four to eight inches apart. Uh, and then for the bigger bulbs, you want to plant them uh, six to twelve or eight to twelve inches apart. So that's the way I'm doing it. You know, staggering them kind of like that uh, for aesthetics and also get that four inch gap. And All now right. I'm going to add some fish water to those garlic cloves. Um, my little fish tank. Well, little. Um, all the guppies are being shy right now. Um, you can probably see all the, yeah, the water is just crystal clear. You got a tadpole down there and stuff. I'm hoping that they'll grow, jump out into my garden and just take care of pests. See all the little guppies? They're all happy. They think I'm going to feed them. Watch if I tap. It's funny when I tap too because they'll take off from the bottom and start coming up here and they're like, is it food? <laughs> so anyway, I'll feed them. I'm not that cruel. But I don't have the food out here. So, water barrel's done. I'm going to go put that on the garlic. I'm doing this because um, this water, particularly this water, uh, has uh, fertilizer in it, um, the fish waste. Uh, it's all blended into the water, um, so it's almost like a tea already, like a compost tea. Uh, it's really high in nitrogen, and um, you got to fertilize garlic right at the beginning, because once they go to bulb, there's no real use in, in uh, fertilizing them, so I've read. Um, so anyways, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to put all this nice fishy water on the cloves and maybe some on the uh, strawberries. Alright, so fish water is all down and all over my strawberries too. And what I could do at this point, uh, but I'm not going to yet, I need to read a little bit more about fertilizing, um, is right down here as you can see all these little tiny rabbit pellets and I know you it's disgusting but um, those things are actually super packed with nitrogen you have chicken manure and chicken manure is one of the I think it's actually the highest uh, manure um, highest nitrogen uh, but I think rabbit manure is even more I think rabbit is the highest um, it's just for some reason not a lot of people use it 
Um, it comes in these little packed pellets. Oh, the other good thing is, is you don't have to compost rabbit manure. It's a cold compost, which means it's it's ready to go fresh out of the booty. <laughs> so, um, so you can spread this like around the base of the plant, and um, as the plant gets watered, uh, the water hits these little pellets, and it basically breaks them up slowly. And so they're almost like these little time caps, these time release manure pellets where they uh, break down over time. So and then we have the Cadbury bunny in there. She's like, mark, 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 mark. She's mad right now because I won't let her out yet. Um, oh, she needs food. Anyways, so that is, I'm thinking about putting that down around my base of my strawberry plants. So anyway. That's garlic for you. Uh, I'll be updating you guys to let you know how it goes. Uh, God bless.